Hello, welcome to another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review. In each one of these special one-off videos, we're going to look back on each one of the senior players who pulled on the mighty blue and white this season. We're going to scrutinise their effort and grade their overall performance. And in this episode, we're going to review Richard Smallwood. <laughs> Ah, the king. What a pickup this guy was. A free transfer from fellow relegated side Rotherham United. My initial thoughts, as those from other portions of fans, were a little sceptical. On paper and from Miller's fans, the verdict of Smallwood was that he was a cheaper version of ex-skipper Jason Lowe, and that he was inclined to pass the ball backwards and not offer any benefit for the team. Wrong. For every black there is a white, for every wrong there is a right, for every Bradley Dak there's a Richie Smallwood. Without Smallwood, Dak would have been less successful than he has this season. Dak gets all the credit and Smallwood does all the donkey work. How many saving tackles did Big Dick do this year? Countless. For me, he was in contention for the player of the season uh, until Dak clicked into top gear. Smallwood may not be the dynamic midfielder every team wants, but he's a massive cog in the engine of the team as a whole. His presence was critical for us moving forward. Another great signing by Mowbray, especially for this division. Will he prove to be successful next season? Time will only tell. I'm sure we'll be given the opportunity to try and emulate his performances this season. One thing I would like to see more of is his gold return. The lad has a cracking set of pegs on him and he did score a couple of screamers this year. But I am very picky, class signing, gave it his all each and every time he pulled on a shirt and the fans loved him for it. Rating A-. So let's take a look now at Richard Smallwood's statistics for the season, all in all, in, uh, in all competitions. He was involved in 52 matches, scoring three goals, creating three assists, and was involved in 92% of all possible first-team action. He picked up 11 yellow cards. What a what a bohemoth he was in the middle, middle of the park for Rovers. He's actually substituted out 10 times and brought on twice in all competitions. As for League One only, he was involved in 46 matches, winning 28 of those, drawing 12, and losing just six, scoring two goals in the process, which equals about 0.04 goals per game. Chalked up 3,887 minutes of first team action. His last five matches looked like this. Three wins, a draw and a defeat, which was probably that Charlton one. He's actually lost twice within the 30, past 35 games. Uh, he's also went 19 games without scoring a goal. Both actually scored in 4% of all games he's played in this season in League One. Uh, he was on a six game winning streak with Rovers. He was also on their two game uh, run without a win. And he also was on that two-game losing streak at the start of the season up against Doncaster and Southend. Uh, he chalked up. Uh, he was involved in that 18-game unbeaten run. Uh, he scored the one goal back-to-back. -back. Again, these, sometimes these statistics don't really work out if they haven't really got any decent numbers. And he actually went 21 games without scoring a goal. And here is his uh, form. Obviously, he was involved in the defeat. What what a what a pickup this guy was. Obviously Bradley Dak gets a lot of credit for his goals and creativity, but this lad is is, you know, immense. He was immense, especially those first few games of the season when we start to click in gear. Um, he start to show his true worth. And I'm I for one am glad that we uh, we have him in the middle of the park. Well that's your lot, folks. If you've enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also you can join me right back here tomorrow for yet another 2017-2018 individual Blackburn Rovers player review.